up guys, Jamie Cooper at jcooperfitness.com I'm back with another parallel workout uh, except this time we did pull last time, we did push this time uh, again, all you need for this, a couple of parallels if you haven't got parallels, obviously it's a bit of a specialised bit of kit use plastic chairs, use um, some stack of books whatever you get your hands on, something to try and get you a bit of depth but again, using the parallels just because I like parallels I'll put the link in the description below about where you can get these from uh, so, let's crack on First thing I'm going to do is just go for standard dips. So you want them just over shoulder width apart. Then just turn my knees in and slowly come down. My arms are about parallel and then back. Nice knees. So again, I'm going to go for uh, three rounds of failure and then move on from there. So let's do it. yourself that way, move your legs out, that will then play more, that will put more emphasis on the front shoulders, push your legs out the other way, so we're almost sitting and facing our legs out, that will put more emphasis on the chest, so what we're going to do is just start off, do it neutral, because in that way we get a bit of both. Okay guys, so we're going to move on from there, on to the next exercise. So for the rest of the time, I'm probably going to use the wall to assist me. It's going to get a bit of level. Go for a wide arm um, press up. So again. We're So basically, wall, wall assisted handstand press up. Um, again, there are other things we'll go through at the end and try and train so you can get your handstand better, especially using pilots. But um, whenever I'm training the wall, the handstand press up, I would generally use the wall just to get it one means. I've got enough to go there, as many as I can. And I'll maybe try and see what I can do on my own afterward. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. straight like this, basically put your legs together and just oh, like so. Or you turn your arms inside out and do it like so. Oh, it's just going to work the upper portion of the chest. Again, obviously your triceps or your biceps, depending on which way you like to hold. I personally like to do it outside because I think it's good training for um, doing muscle ups and things like that. So, let's go. Okay, Sort of pressure position. So your hands are down, 
for anyway, your waist or hip height, you can basically push your entire body off the ground like a big plank. Um, it's a fairly difficult movement, again, because you need the entire core muscles, it is hard. Um, but the way we can train for that and the way we can offset it is by using wall assisted. So our legs are against the wall, hands are about sort of hip level, and then all we do is essentially just do push ups with our feet against the wall. Again, help to mimic that plank sort of position. So it's almost like a deep hand press up with your hands a lot lower down, so rather than at chest level, down to what hip level. So let's give it a go. Okay guys, uh, last exercise we're gonna superset. So we're gonna do frog stand, which is just like a tough hand stand. Uh, again, great for if you're beginning out, uh, where you can program, where you can improve it is trying by sticking each leg out each time. Help pull up the core and help obviously pull up your pants stand. And we're gonna do an L sit as well. So again, L6 is a static one, as is the uh, frog hand stand, so you can anyway, hold it for as long as you can. So four arms fairly, and then that's us down, that's it. Crack on. See anything more using pallets or anything or calisette or something like that? Um, please leave a comment. Please leave a comment below about what you'd like to see. But until then, make sure you stretch off, take on plenty of fluids, eat, eat food, that sort of normal stuff. Don't starve yourself. Try and lose weight. And yeah, see you next time. So then, take it easy. <laughs>